Okay. Once again, here we're at 15 Mile Machine. Bob Pavlik, my friend. He uh, is working on his lathe. And many times you have a problem of behind your rollers for your steady rest to get chips in there. People have made uh, metal shields, uh, plastic, all kinds of things. He just cut one out of cardboard and he said he was astounded at how well it worked to keep the chips off and not damage anything. I'm going to try that myself next time. And we're also probably put a link down for one of Bob's products. Bob is uh, another machine shop, plus he makes tap guides. You want, got one of your tap guides handy, Bob? Oh, yeah. I didn't give you any forewarning. Yeah, this is... Uh... That was close by. 15 mile machine tap alignment guide. So it's it's a little bit of a different kind compared to what you usually see. The spring is on the outside compared to being on the inside. Let's you have a bigger spring. Let's you have a bigger spring. So it's all CNC machine, close tolerances. There's a little retaining shoulder bolt inside, holds it all together. And uh, there's a lot of spring tension there. So. It works. I, I it use works it good. For half inch and up taps works really yeah, good. Yeah, no, it works real good. I I bought the first two that you sold. Yeah, yeah. Just right. uh, once I saw those, I said, Bob, you need to take those out and sell them to everybody. And he hasn't sold too many, but we'll put the link uh, down below where they go on uh, where to go on eBay. Thank I've been going to do that for a while. Yeah. And uh, but tonight I'm here at his place. We're looking at a little wiring problem in his lathe, and I just this cardboard on there. I'm going to try that myself next time I get in this situation and uh, yeah. So well. anyway, you know, I made a shield that, you know, you just kind of set there, maybe tape it to the side. Well, this time I didn't have something handy, so I just grabbed a piece of cardboard, pulled it against there, traced it, cut it out and jammed it in there. Just let it wedge in there and it was so easy. So it keeps the chips out of those rollers. Uh, you know, your rollers will crack if you get a big enough chip in there, it'll break. Not to mention it puts uh, gouges or lines in your machine surfaces. So that's all. <laughs> okay, thank you, Bob.